now your eyewitness weather forecast. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It is 612 right now and meteorologist Stephanie Pietro has us covered. Some of us sitting right around freezing right yeah, now. Right around that freezing mark. A couple of flakes that are coming down this morning with nothing that's causing any troubles. And there are a few areas that have actually dropped into the 20s. But we're factoring in the wind this morning, which is really dropping those wind chill values. Let's talk about the air temperature first sitting in the 30s and in the northern tier and higher elevations down to the 20s. Pottsville, we're at 32, Mount Pocono at 25, Hazleton, we're right near 30, and Seawans Grove starting off at 33 this morning. Wind chill is making it feel more like it's in the 20s, but even the teens up in the northern tier and those higher elevations, so that top layer this morning needs to be something to help block out that wind. And don't be surprised if as we're out and about for the morning commute, as the kids are headed to the bus stop, if there's a few flurries in some spots, but nothing that's causing any weather troubles. Other than that, radar is nice and quiet this morning. And as we take satellite and radar out for a wider view, it's this area of high pressure that's going to slowly build in as we go through the rest of the morning and through this afternoon. And that is what will break up the cloud cover and give us some sunshine later today. But right now, stuck in the clouds as the kids are headed to the bus stop. 28 is that temperature, though there are some areas in the valleys that are still in the 30s. The bus stop forecast for the afternoon, we're at 36 with a mix of clouds and sunshine. And it'll be a slow process, but we'll get some good sun by midday today. And temperatures are right on par with average. 36 the high. The average for this time of year is right around 34. Our sunrise at 717 this morning, and it will set right around 515 this evening. Here comes that area of high pressure. There goes the cloud cover this afternoon. There still will be some clouds mixing in, but more sunshine than the last couple of days, which isn't saying all that much considering we were completely stuck in the clouds. For Monday and Tuesday. High pressure sticks around through tomorrow, so some good sunshine to go around, but then the cloud cover does make a pretty quick comeback on Friday. It does stay dry Friday afternoon, but those clouds are really starting to just settle back into place. Now we'll take it out for a wider view for the weekend because it's this coastal storm that we're watching for Saturday. Now this particular model does just kick this low out to sea without giving us any direct impacts. But if the track of this low lifts a little bit further to the north, all of a sudden we start being on the outer band of that little round of rain. And if it gets into the colder air, we would be talking some snow. So keep checking back for this right now. The general consensus has been we don't see the bulk of that system. 36 for the high today in your eyewitness weather forecast. It is cloudy to start off, but we'll get some sunshine back this afternoon, and it's rather chilly, but decently seasonal. Tonight down to 18 for the overnight low. 36 tomorrow, a nice mix of clouds and sun. Pretty good Thursday. Friday, the cloud cover is back. We're at 38. Saturday and Sunday, each day we have a snow shower in the forecast. That's just as that low is at least knocking on the door, but for the most part, majority of that misses us. Just keep checking back and then Monday and Tuesday we're back in the 40s. And don't forget the eyewitness weather app. We can always download that on our phones and tablets. The forecast is always available for you at 